Yo, how are we going guys? In this video here, I'm going to be showing you how to tie a glow bug. This is just part of my classic Kiwi Flies series, and the glow bug is a fly that has been a great fly for years, basically since it was introduced. The only things you're going to need for this fly is glow bug yarn. Of, you're usually going to be tying these in two colours. So you'll have a base colour and then a spot colour. So in this I'm using a colour called Peachy King for the base colour. I'd usually use champagne, but that's all that's available to me at the moment. Then my other colour is this flame here. You'll hear a lot of people say that glow bugs are one of the easiest flies to tie. Kind of true, it's really easy to tie a shit glow bug. They're one of the hardest flies to tie well. It's also getting the durability, it's having a perfect round shape. Uh, there's a lot of things that um, are a part of it as well as just, you know, ending up with a fluffy thing on a hook on a vice. I, I usually want a colour that's at least going to be similar to a colour in the glow bug, but if it's tied well, you shouldn't have much thread showing, if any at all. So, and also this is a G12 size hook. The size of the hook also dictates the amount of glow bug yarn that you use. So I'll tell you shortly how much I'm using in this one, and I'm going to chuck in the description down below how much you need to use for different sizes of glow bug. So start off with a few wraps. Back that off there. And one thing that's really, 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 really important about having a good structurally sound glow bug is I think here you should be able to see how I have my thread wrapped around my bobbin. That's not an accident, that's on purpose. So it's actually wrapped around my bobbin three times, two on one side and one on the other. And what that allows me to do, I'm able to pull on this pretty hard before it actually starts to give thread. So that's one of the main things about having a strong glow bug and a durable glow bug. It's not going to spin and rotate on its hook and all that kind of thing. Is just having really tight thread wraps. So once you've tied that in, just going to tuck a dab of head cement on there. It can be better to use super glue of these. I don't have super glue, so in this video, just pretend my head cement is super glue. And now we're going to be tying something like this shape onto our hook. So what this is, this is two strands of the Peachy King base colour. You have them just laying parallel to each other side by side. This here is half a strand of my spot colour which is flame. So I'll just show you here how that's separated. So that's one full strand here of the spot colour. You just separate it as such and once you've got that separated, it's going to be hard to show this on the camera, but just roll it up and down on your hip. You want the, the dot strand actually placed more so on top, not in between. So that's how it looks from the bottom, that's how it looks like that, and that's how it looks there. Now line your thread up just beyond the point of your hook. Hold that over as such with three fingers kind of securing it and we're going to wrap over the top of this about five times and it's really important that these are tight thread wraps and I, I whack them down quite lightly just to sort of secure them in place and you want them going into the same sort of crevice that you've created with your thread And again, it's really important that that's tight, and that's why it's important to do what I was pointing out with the thread earlier. And now, pull all of this up as one piece. Our next stage is doing three or four circular wraps around our glow bug. So you don't have to throw it like this. You'll and these also want to be really tight. So 
what that's doing is it's just coming around there, always being over the hook. At no point do I figure eight it under or anything like that, it's just real basic going around like that. Not sure how many times I did that, but yeah, three or four should do it. And then just a few half hitches to tie it off. This part is also really important, what you want to have here, and what's really key to this is decent sharp scissors. Uh, you're going to end up with a pretty scruffy looking glow bug if you try to cut it with a butter knife. So you want to pull that up really pretty tight. Not too tight, so you can see it's stressing the hook a bit, but I'm not ripping the vice off the tape. You'll get used to playing around a little bit to get this cut exactly right. And sometimes you get it better, sometimes you get it worse. But you will see you will see a line where the these two pieces come together. Basically, it'll be the top of your thread wraps. And what you want to do is you want to cut about two to three mil above that line. You'll know the line when you see it. And even those scissors aren't particularly great. You cut that and it bunches all into one nice solid ball. You don't always end up with a perfectly round spot. Um, Maybe you can if you get really, really good at it. But um, this one here, quite romantically, has ended up as a bit of a heart shape. Look at that. So that's not quite done yet. What you then want to do is because quite often, if you don't do this next step, you'll have a few casts and then you'll have, if you're casting a glow bug around, that looks like that underneath and that's not particularly neat and tidy you can see all that thread work and so what you want to do is you put your glow bug upside down in your vise and then you take your super glue not head cement this is head cement but you want to take super glue and don't go crazy with it it's it's very strong glue super glue so you want to put just one dab like that on the base of it and then you take all your fingers and you hold that together with super glue that'll set you'll feel your fingers sticking together within about 10 seconds and then what that does is it just makes sure that it always stays as a rather circular shape and it again makes it a lot more durable so there you go how to tie one of the classic egg patterns and hopefully this is going to be a good fly for you and you're able to go out and catch a whole lot of fish on it. Cheers.